Okay, so now um, the other big part of uh, this basic trigonometry topic um, uh, is how to find the missing angles in a right angle triangle. Uh, in the last lesson, you, you may have seen how to find a missing side if you're given one of the other sides and the measure of one of the angles as well as the right angle. Um, so we've got this sort of relationship between these uh, three variables and um, well we've seen how to find two of them if they are unknown and um, what about the other one the missing angle okay if we are given two of the sides well um, firstly a reminder that uh, this whole Sokotoa thing uh, is still our main uh, point of reference okay and a reminder of the, what these equations mean uh, well sine okay it's a special type of function okay and it's probably quite unlike anything you've seen so far in maths up to this point and it's a bit of a strange relationship um, but sine of an angle will give you a certain number um, it will always be, be between minus 1 and 1 and it will always be equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. However much you expand or shrink the triangle, uh, if you do opposite over hypotenuse for a certain angle, um, well, it will be give you the same answer as if you typed in your calculator sine of that angle. Okay, and we've got sine of angle equals opposite over hypotenuse, cos of some angle equals the adjacent over hypotenuse tan, of an angle equals opposite divided by uh, adjacent. Okay, so let's see how to use these three equations when uh, uh, an angle is unknown now. Okay, like we've got here. We've got two sides and we don't know the angle. Um, so the question is, find the angle, find theta. So um, just like before, when we're finding a missing side length, uh, we need to identify uh, what we're working with here. Okay, this is, well, it's opposite the uh, given angle. Uh, so this is the opposite. The other side we're given is, I like to remember it as it's next to or adjacent to the, the angle and the right angle. Okay, so this is the adjacent. Now, next step. Which of these three equations uses the opposite and adjacent? Well, tan. Okay, so tan of our angle equals opposite over adjacent. Okay, and now we can start to fill in what we know. Okay, so, well, tan of theta, we still don't know theta, that's what we're trying to find, uh, equals opposite. 16 over adjacent 12. Now, um, our goal is to find theta, so theoretically, my next step, I should be writing theta equals something. Um, but what, how do I, you know, get rid of this tan, move it over to the other side? Um, well, uh, let's think about what usually happens in, in maths. Uh, let's say, I've got 2x equals 10. Okay, that means 2 times x equals 10, and uh, without thinking, you would do divide by 2. But why do you do that? Uh, because dividing by 2 is the inverse of multiplying by 2. So the inverse of times 2 is divide by 2. Uh, okay, so you divide both sides by 2, and you get x equals 5. So the question is, what is the inverse of 10? Um, okay, to leave us with just uh, theta. Okay, if we found an inverse of 10, then we could do that to both sides, and theta will be sort of the subject will be by itself. So, um, well, what we call it is literally just inverse 10. Okay, and it's given uh, with the notation 10 almost looks like to the power of minus 1. Um, that is what we would call inverse 10. OK, 
okay? And all it means is it's doing the exact opposite. Okay, you do inverse tan of an opposite over adjacent fraction or decimal, and it will tell you the angle. Okay, so if sine of if sine of the angle um, takes you from an angle to this value, um, well, inverse um, sine or inverse tan will take you from this number back to the angle. Okay, so inverse tan of 16 over 12 or 1.3 recurring, whatever you want. Um, again, we just, uh, we're not really going to learn any of these, uh, or maybe a few later on, but um, we, no one should be expected to learn this one. Okay, inverse tan of 16 over 12, you just type it into your calculator and it'll tell you that the angle theta is roughly 53.1 degrees. Okay, and you will always check here. Uh, does that look like a sensible answer? Mm, yes, I'd say it does. Okay, another example. Okay, another missing angle. Okay, it's not always called theta. It could be, uh, it could be x theta or alpha or any other really. Uh, or it could just, it could be a label like this. It could be find angle ABC. Uh, there's infinite possibilities there. Okay, but again, we start the same way. Um, what is this side called? It's the adjacent, it's next to both angles. What is this side called? Uh, well, it's opposite the right angle, so hypotenuse. Which equation uses adjacent and hypotenuse? Cos. Okay, so cos of x equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Fill in what we know, we know the two sides. Okay, and maybe we want to simplify the fraction. Not really necessary because we still need to do some more. Okay, um, we need to now get rid of cos. We need to move cos, cancel out cos. Um, okay, and again, this is not this is a special type of function. This is not some number called cos times x. This is uh, cos of x, and it does a, a very specific uh, function. Okay, and all we can do to get rid of it is do inverse cos. Okay, so we do inverse cos of both sides. Okay, and that will take us from this two thirds and tell us the angle that's needed. Um, to get to have an adjacent over hypotenuse of two thirds. What angle is needed? Well, we type this into our calculator. Okay, and it will tell you roughly uh, 48.2 degrees. Okay, and again, we check, um, even though they're not the scale, okay, you should be able to tell whether it's a ridiculous answer that you just found and whether you've typed something in wrong or got it on the wrong mode.